Hello, welcome to Sharon. Start again, take two. Hi, welcome to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to do a step back in time. Kylie's one of my favourite uh, artists. What I am going to do is show you some of my resin from the very beginning because I've only been exploring it a very short period of time. Unfortunately, there is nobody else for those whatsoever because that was a learning journey for myself. But I'll show you what they look like and talk to you about my wins. And then I'll show you some that I did take videos off in fast motion and they were put on my Facebook page, but that was before YouTube. So what I'll do is I will merge all the photos together, give you a little bit of history behind them and then put all the videos of the fast motion in. They're not as aesthetically pleasing to look at from a video because for me it was just trying to show the image and what I was doing before YouTube. So. Hopefully you will enjoy this. Hopefully it will get you to know me, a little bit of Sharon. Um, and also some of the learns and some of the fails I've had along the way. So I'm gonna bring you to my first ever one. Hopefully I will get this in view. I've been watching um, YouTube for a little while. I've been seeing this lady's art and thought, oh, I really wanna have a go at that. And I couldn't replicate it with oils or acrylics. Now I know that there are ways to do it, but I stumbled across resin and I thought, oh, I'd really like to do that and my partner very graciously ordered me some for my birthday and then Christmas and I got to explore and this was my first uh, dirty pour or dirty cup I'm sorry I'm not really great with technology but I watched I put it all in the cup and I was actually really pleased the way it came out and it felt very worldly for me as though you're looking down on the earth there's some beautiful textures in there and everything like that and there's some also solid colors there which i really enjoy what i learned is don't leave your lollipop sticks underneath because it will uh, stick to it and uh, you then have to deal with it all at the back but overall i was really happy and hopefully you can see this um, sentimental you saw the one on the other video that was sentimental that i had to throw away unfortunately i tried rescuing it but i ended up ruining it my next one I did was a slightly larger one because at this stage I'm still trying to learn how much resin to use how to pour it how to capture different images and although I really like this what I found is it was coming out and it was starting to have a similar theme and my partner really likes this one he believes it's got um, like you're going into a chapel and they're painting on the ceilings and Michelangelo and some of the colors that's in there but I didn't want to become a one track pony. I'm always, always learning with art. I don't like to stick to one thing and then master it and only be known as that. I like to keep pushing myself, but there are some beautiful textures, beautiful colors, and it was only half a lollipop that stick this time. So that was a good save. <laughs> uh, and I was sort of learning about smoothing the back and, and taping them. But what I did find is I used resin blast with this one. And I don't really like resin blast. I don't really understand it yet. I probably need to master that. And the residue that comes to the top, it's still tacky. And what's the best way to get rid of that? So if anybody is a resin blast fan, please, please, please give me some tips. Um, I know that you just put a drop in, it disperses, it creates cells. But what I don't understand is when it comes to the top, what's the best way to clean that? Hence why I believe I ruined my piece yesterday uh, because I didn't know what I was doing. So then I wanted to try something different and I wanted to not just have that helicopter view of the earth and uh, wishy, um, whiz, whimsical, I think that's the word I'm looking for. And then I came and did this one. I thought, wow, I really, really love this. I love the fact that the black, I love the blue that shot out um, and I love the purple. And it felt quite space to me, but it started to capture a little bit more of who I am with boldness with my art but then I'm gonna take my finger away and boop, uh, a little bit of resin blast must have got in there or I must have had something on my fingers and it created a little hole there and because I used a white board it's not very forgiving but the good news is no lollipop yes there was one stuck but I managed to get it off edges are quite uh, fine and I think it's because I applied the same silver that's here at the wrong time which caused the weight to drop and separate all the colors so I want to go and fix this but I'm a little bit scared because I ruined my other one but if I do that it looks like a perfect piece hey and then I thought right 
I'm going to go bigger. So the ones I'm going to show you now, you will see on my fast forwarded clip. But this is the one that I was like, yes, I'm so, so pleased with this one. Went to bigger, started to understand now um, how much resin to use and not waste much. Um, the only thing at this stage was how do you take photos of it and get it to show the wonderful colours and details and everything um, that's in there. And what I loved about this one is I did it on a bigger board, I had no waste, love the explosion feel and because I did use a whiter board underneath, the blue here is really bright and I really like that. But around the edge, because it is white, it, it pulled away, even though there's resin there, the colour underneath pulled away. So. I'm contemplating going back over it, fixing the edges, or once I put it in a picture frame, you won't see it. But no lollipop sticks or broken pieces where I pulled it off. And although I didn't use tape under here, it's it's sort of level and it'll go into a picture frame. But the this is where I started to get a love of the bronzes and the metallics and sort of the explosion. So really liked that one. So confidence is growing a little bit along the way. And then I decided to keep it simpler, strip back some of the colours, I know, very unlike me, but go bold. So this is where you will see a video of me creating this one, and I love this one. Uh, just one solid colour, there is a little bit of silver coming through and red, but for me it's just really striking. And for some reason I think of life, uh, whether it be blood, whether it be cells, whether it be connection. Um, it just really, really to me is powerful and beautiful. No lollipop sticks, but what I did find is when I taped underneath here, I didn't pull my tape off in time and it's now stuck to the resin. So what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks is sanding all these back down, getting them logged and getting them ready for sale. Um, and what I found, I got better at keeping it all level. There was a little bubble in this piece that came up. Uh, and that's something I didn't see at the time of leaving it to wait and it's something that I then start to think okay well how do I do that but this piece for me I love it I had a little bit of paint left so I grabbed another board behind me and created a mini version so this is just pour your black on leave a hole in the middle put your red on blast it with your heat gun and then it it goes out and then comes back and that's where you get to see what looks like cells there's no resin blast hence the other ones that resin blast scares me give me some tips uh, but this was my little one but because it was all last minute it's quite messy at the back but again it's not um, too lumpy that it will stop it going to pitch frame but then I found I got a light scratch here so I've got to go back and uh, resurface that and that's the tip if you do get any slight little bubbles or anything you can always give it another coating I'm quite confident that if I sand this down I will be able to apply my resin it will stick to it because there's no resin blast or anything that will stop it sticking to it so then I decided I wanted to stick to a similar theme and by the way these boards I all got off Etsy from a lady that uh, cuts them, primes them and gets them ready to sell. It's been a really nice board to work on and because I do like working with black, I wanted to get some black to make sure I didn't have the issue with a big one where if it pulls away, you're not seeing the why. So I stuck, I was channeling winter and when I did this one, I was thinking of autumn leaves and a different color and I actually did it in a dirty pour cup. And overall, really, really happy, I see a some kind of creature coming out of a black owl. It didn't replicate in my mind what I thought I was gonna do and have more bold colors. They did tone down a little bit, but I actually really liked it. And for me, the learn was about applying the different colors and how you do that. But I really do like how this creature, and I started to think, well, I'm getting a collection, but look at this. I won on the back, there's no lollipop stick, there is no tape and it's fairly smooth so starting to learn that process the thing i do want to do though is keep them dust free <laughs> they are usually under a cloth but i want to uh, go back over this with one layer of resin um, because of the different i'm not too sure if it's textures that were in there it's got some slight ridges in that but i'm okay with that one clear coat of resin resin gosh put my teeth in uh, we'll fix that but I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you think about that one 
and then sticking with a theme I wanted to um, do another one this was originally I blue I tried to replicate what I did with the red one in blue but because I'd not left the space or it wasn't white underneath the blue got lost so it was a little bit blah for me I did video record it and then thought about it for a couple of days and then I thought no I wanted to add some colour um, give it more depth or um, get it to shine so I came back and sanded it all down and was very brave and added a second coat it stuck to it, it worked really well and I really enjoy uh, the end result and to me I see another creature so I had a little spacey theme happening I hope the camera's picking up all the colours and textures it's really great when you do apply second layers though because you get that feeling of depth and I've managed to keep the colours fairly bold but they are toned down a little bit in the corner and I quite like that but I see some kind of creature or something again coming through a black hole so another success with the back although I do have to sand this down so if anybody's got any amazing tips on the best tools to use for this other than a little bit of elbow grease and just keep uh, applying it I know the best course of action is not to do it to start with but when you're working with resin time frames trying to create a piece of art and babysit it for an hour sometimes I don't have the balance right but there you go that is my resin journey the rest of it has been recorded uh, and they are on my youtube so i'm very very new it's just an amazing way of expressing and trying so give it a go there's so many people out there that are doing amazing things you can learn so much from them i would just say what i'm going to start doing is if i have something in my head try and do it on a smaller piece of a, a certain scale so you can work out if your idea is going to work out well and then go on to the big ones because resin is expensive and for me I've had to go over things a few multiple times as part of that learning journey but I'm okay with that because when my art's out there for sale I want it to represent me uh, rep make it represent you don't try and be anybody else put your heart and soul into it but just channel those one ideas and and sharing and hope that you like a little bit of step back in time and I wonder how many of you now are going to listen to Kyla Minogue. Have a wonderful day. If you like this video, thumbs up, share and subscribe. And feedback is so much appreciated. I'd love to share your journey. I'd love to hear all about your successes or fears or wins or any tips or tricks. So amazing day.